I've got to get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door, well, then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! Dogs! This'll make you rue the day! I've asked you, swabs! Prepare for- I don't think I've ever seen a cuter pirate. That well, looks pretty sturdy. You drink bilge water. Great. I see a diorama of the children of the world living in peace and freedom. No, wait. It can't be that. It's just too dark to make out what's in there. Take that! I couldn't force that door open with my bare hands. Let's see if you can- Hey, it's one of those new self-loading cannons I've heard so much about. Nice cannonballs. I'll reduce your fort to rubble! Stand your distance! I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Who are you? I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose, the wickedest fiend ever to sail under the banner of King Death. I'd as soon chew your nose off as look at you. Are you wearing a fake beard? Bloodnose the pirate would not have a fake beard. Yes, it is. It's been glued to your ear hair. Actually, it's a highly sophisticated beard weave, made from the chest and back hair of real pirates. I'm hoping it'll take root if I don't wash it for a while. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. You can too. Ask me how. Tell me about these seminars. The seminars really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to be able to say to yourself, Yes, I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate, deserving blame and censure. But that pirate is who I want to be. Everyone was really very supportive. We had this great feeling of synergy. Then LeChuck kicked down the door and said, You lazy scum, get back to work or I'll beat you with your own legs. Tell me about these motivational lectures. Well, they weren't lectures as such. It was what LeChuck described as flogging the inner child. Tell me about these audiobooks. To become a pirate, the audiobooks on Parrot are the key. You get a set of 12 parrots, one a month. Return as many as you like. Keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just like a pirate. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. Who's a pretty bird? All the phrases a pirate needs to command respect on the high seas. Do you have any literature I could look at? Here. This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. Set me free, Wally. I can't, Mr. Brush. I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose now. And besides, even if you got up on deck, LeChuck would cut you to ribbons. What's behind that door? Ooh! That's the door to LeChuck's treasure hold. There's heaps and piles of gold and silver. He's brought all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. LeChuck is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. Hmm. What's behind that door again? It's LeChuck's fabulous treasure hold. What are LeChuck's plans? He's been working on a secret weapon. Some incredibly powerful cannonball. He's going to use it to blow down the walls of the fort. 
so his crew can overrun the island. Snap out of it, Wally. That's blood nose to you, you scurvy sea bass. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you and I'll do you in. Peep. Yes, scabrous swab. One more word and I'll let you have it. Word. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. Oh. Ah! Oh, there, there. I don't want to disturb him. <laughs> He's had a hard day. and stuff are floating towards the ship. <laughs> I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. <laughs> well, they've messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> There's a strange glow coming from that porthole. There's a skeletal arm floating in the water. If I could just get my hand... It's a horrible skull. Can I call you Bob? You may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom. And the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? All right, then roll. Roll through the gates of hell. Must you take the fun out of everything? You know, you'd look great with a melting candle on your forehead. I get the feeling you're not taking me very seriously. No, I am, really. Really? Then let me hear you scream in terror. Oh. <laughs> Why do you villains always laugh so much? I wasn't laughing about anything in particular. Somewhere there's a fish nibbling on my foot and it really tickles. You're about as fearsome as a doorstop. Is it a really evil-looking doorstop? Uh, never mind. Was your mother's father bald, too? I'm not bald. I just have a really high widow's peak. Well, at least now you never have to worry about what to wear. Well, I suppose that's true. And accessorizing is really easy. That's also true. And I look good in hats. There you go. How can you see without eyeballs? How can you walk around without a brain? Some things no one can answer. I'm going now. Good. Now leave me alone. I have a lot of scheming and evil plotting to do. <laughs> it's Wally's fake pirate hook. Ah! 
Looks like a ramrod for the cannon. I don't need to wear a hook. I have two good hands. Mm, this has to be used with something else. Ah, well, I guess I'll just have to look on the bright side of this. Hey, that's my arm. Give that back. Steel, feeble cannon restraint rope. <laughs> now, with the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball, I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world. <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. <laughs> <laughs> Neptune's navel, that was a close one. I lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. Hey, I can see the ocean floor. It's a bottle of sparkling formaldehyde. Good year, dude. Because the ship is capsized, this ladder goes to nowhere. I hate to think what that comb's been through. I don't even want to know what LeChuck's plans were for that. It's got a zombie ballerina. It's a bag of wooden nickels. Some treasure. Hey, there's a big diamond ring behind this. It's a diamond ring. It's got a zombie ballerina. It's LeChuck and all his gory. Uh, glory. Chocolate-covered barnacles? Marshmallow hooks? Sea urchins? Glass eyes? Ugh. It's stabbed through the heart. Cute and yet sinister. A beautiful high-capacity washer and dryer combination. A beautiful high-capacity washer and dryer combination. Hey, it's the Songs for Undead Lovers Collab. Guybrush? Guybrush! I thought I'd lost you forever! Is it really you? Yes, Elaine. Um, did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh, well, yes, Guybrush, I guess I did. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler, a rogue, a wanderer, a man who can hold his breath for ten minutes. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow, something always Guy leads me. Guybrush, stop babbling. Elaine, will you marry me? Oh, Guybrush. Oh, Wally? You're alive! But how did you survive the explosion? I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Wow, Elaine, that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it. 
Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, I've got to be going. I hear there's a tattoo removal place on this island that's freckle safe. See you at the wedding. Guybrush! Ah. Uh...